Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a review for you of my Tokidoki Sea Ammo Hobo B, which I finally just took the tags off. I've had it for about a month, but I just haven't gotten around to using it with all the other bags that I have, and on top of that, just moving and getting settled in and all of that. So I absolutely love this print. Um, I tend to love all the Toki prints with the exception of a couple um, in the beginning and then sometimes they sort of fizzle out for me. But this one I really love. I actually have this print in many bags. I have a Super B, I have a Quick, I have a Superstar, I have this. So um, I definitely love this print and I don't see this one fading out um, with me loving it. So what I really like about this particular bag is I love the coral reef that runs along the mommy pocket. Um, I just think it's really pretty and I really like how this bag is gender neutral. I feel like whether you have a girl or a boy um, you could easily use this. So I do have it pretty well packed. Um, I just have it packed for the d today that I used it um, for just a normal day. We went to the pool, did some errands, um, things like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. On this side I just have a matching passy pod with a little bit of the coral on it with a couple passies in it. I did have a Life Factory water bottle in here, but I just took it out to clean it, so this pocket is currently empty. And on the other side, I have a Neutrogena Wet Skin for Kids Beach and Pool Sunscreen, which fits perfectly in there. And moving here, um, I'm going to start, I guess, in the mommy pocket. Nothing exciting because I just have a Bear Bradley Turnlock wallet in there. That is the only thing I have in here currently. Above that, there is a small little felt line pocket, which I just have my phone, and I also just have a lip gloss. Um, it's a full-size lip gloss, just an Urban Decay lip gloss, so I have that in there. And then on the back, where the change pad comes, I just have a package of the Baby Gannix brand hand and face wipes, as well as just a small hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. Uh, most of you know I like to keep my wipes in this pocket um, so that there's no unzipping at all. It's just easy access for me. And we're going to move into the main compartment. Okay, so in the back there are two um, black mesh pockets that are separated um, by a seam. It's hard to see, but there's a seam that separates the two mesh pockets. And on this mesh pocket here, I have a custom um, boxy quick clip. And inside, I actually, believe it or not, can fit a whole outfit for my son in here. He's in 2T or 3T clothes. So I have a just a lightweight t-shirt and then just a pair of little shorts. And I just roll them kind of like this and fold them. Um, and I can get it to work for me in this quick clip. The next pocket next to this one, I have another custom piece that is in the same print, the C ammo that Roshu made me. It's actually the same concept, just different prints, obviously. So in here, I just have my first eight things, just some aspirin, um, band-aids, lip gloss, all kinds of just little things, tampons, just mommy things, first eight things. So the, those two quicklets fit perfectly in these mesh pockets. In the back long pocket here, I don't currently have anything. Again, the bag's pretty well packed, so I probably couldn't fit that much in there. Next, I have just two large set pieces, which most of you have seen a million times in my videos. So I have my large iconic set piece, and I do have a lot in here today. I actually have a disposable changing pad. I have my Sea Ammo Matching Sea Ammo Booty Pod cover that Brochu actually made me, which I love. And I have the new style booty pod bag inside of this. I have a swim diaper because in the summer we are always at the pool or at the beach. I have a just small pack of the Honest Company um, wipes right here. Um, just a random 7th generation little travel pack of wipes or a sample size, excuse me. Two size 6 Huggies diapers. And all of that actually fits in here perfectly, which is why I love these large set pieces so much. Um, they stand up on their own, just like that, perfectly. Um, I think, honestly, out of all the Jujube accessories, the large set pieces are my favorite. I love them with the short strap. This is just how I use mine. I just think they're awesome to grab and go. They hold a lot. Again, they stand up on their own. I love them. Next, I have 
my other large set piece in Royal Envy, <clears throat> which most of you know, I just keep snacks for my son, even just stuff for myself. I have just random little silverware in here, a wet ones for if he's having a snack. I have, I know I always have some wipes in there if he gets messy. And I think that is all that I have in here right now, you guys. Um, what I love about the, the style of this bag is, as you could see from how I packed it, um, it really works well organization-wise to use different set pieces, pouches, things like that. Or if you don't, if you're not a fan of set pieces and pouches and things like that, it just really has great organization to put anything you want in whatever style, packing style that you want. Um, the other side, for those who aren't familiar, has another mesh pocket, which I didn't have anything in, as well as this little, um, small little zipper pocket, which again, I don't have anything in. Um, again, it was pretty well packed with how I had it. I'm going to go ahead and put my quicklets back in the back mesh pockets. There's one. And I'm just going to put the shorts in here just to fill it a little bit and then stick it back in to show you guys again. So there is a little bit of room here on the top. Not much. Uh, you guys know I don't like my bags really, really stuffed. Um, and it zips just fine. And again, I just love this print. I think it's perfect for summer. It's really happy. Um, it's definitely noticeable. A lot of people comment and say, where did you get that bag? And it's just very unique. Um, I have to say, I think it's easily in my top three of all the Tokidoki Jujube collaboration prints. Um, I love Fairy Tella. That was one of the prints that I loved at first, but then I fizzled out on it. But then I fell back in love with it. And I have to say, this one it definitely stole my heart. And I absolutely love it. I think it's a really fun print. So I hope you guys enjoyed. My son is now two and a half, so I definitely pack a little bit differently than I did when I first started YouTube. So I hope you guys all have a great night, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.